Hi YouTubers, how you doing? I'm freezing. <laughs> I had to let my um, wood stove simmer down so calm down so I can um, clean it out and build a new fire in there and the gas heat just doesn't cut it but and get wood in and go out and feed my horse and that type of thing. I've been sort of putting it off but um, oh, my allergies have been bugging me and sleeping bad and <laughs> just like everything but I'm still happy. But I need to tell you about something that's going on in Minnesota in our health society here. Um, it's even reported at the Center of Disease Control, uh, the CDC that has messed me over. So anything I'm saying um, can be verified through the CDC. So um, the other day we had an old farmer friend of ours come up into the yard with his dog. Usually not a huge deal, although I'm not really fond of other people bringing their animals around mine anyway because it's kind of upsetting to them. So, But either way, um, but there's a lot of this here I'm going to tell you that I didn't understand. So I'm just going to tell you what happened and then you can make out of it whatever you want to make out of it. So this guy come up with his dog and I heard my dog yelling. So I went to the door and Doug was out back building on the new um, garage that he's making. And um, I told the guy, Doug's in the back. He says, oh yeah, now I see him now. So they talked for a while, quite a while, while my dog yelled and then cried because this other female dog was in the yard and she didn't like it you know and even male dogs that have been out there before she just really does not like it and um but things got kind of worse on on this day because then he proceeded to tell Doug that his dog was sick from a lung disease that is going around in Minnesota, but that it wasn't catchy. Well, Doug's like, well, I, I will pray for your dog. And he said, well, that's why he brought the dog here, because Barb's good at praying, and she's good at that. And I thought she could pray for my dog, because he had spent like $4,000 on her through the University of Minnesota Animal Hospital and they can do anything for her and she is dying. Then Doug went to pet the dog and um, then he said that it was contagious to other dogs and he went on to say that when it was reported to the Center of Disease Control that 250 people in our state had con con contacted this lung disease and had died. So then by that time, Doug's thinking, well, why did you bring, then he's asked him, well, why did you bring your dog into our yard knowing that she had a contagious disease? And then tells him that it wasn't contagious. Then on top of it, and this was kind of sad, but not even kind of, pretty darn sad when Doug said that he would pray for the guy's dog. Um, like somebody's prayers aren't as good as somebody else's, you know. It just, the whole thing was, to me, satanistically driven, contrived to try and get at um, our, com compromise our immune systems in that way. That's the way it made me feel because... This guy, um, well, he always has liked me, so um, it just seemed contrived in that way. But I thought I should say something about um, these animals and people being sick in our state and what the heck is going on. I have no idea. That's as much as I know right now. I thought about investigating it further, but... I'm pretty sure that the CDC does know. All I do know is when they gave me more gallons, and that was with the swine flu shot 
1976 and I just automatically lost 30 pounds within like two weeks. I almost died. And um, now I can't take any kind of flu stuff, which is good. That's fine. But the thing is, even though they took um, plugs out of my skin and tested me and they called it an unknown fluke, they won't admit what they've done to me or give me any help for it. So there's our CDC for you. And when I brought it up, and here's the odd thing about it too. And this was over 20 years ago and I was online talking to the CDC. Plus I've been to the Center of Disease Control in my state in up in Duluth, Minnesota, about an hour's drive from me. And they checked me out up there, I think, to make sure I'm not contagious. And um, after I contacted them the first time, they moved from where they were in Georgia. I think they're in like North Carolina or somewhere. Now, I can't remember where they moved to. I used to know, but right this second, I don't. Maybe somebody does, neither here nor there. But what I'm trying to say is after they got my skin, um, three different places in my body, they took chunks of me out and sewed me back up and took it to test and all kinds of blood out of me and everything else. And after they got all that, miraculously, they moved for some reason. I wonder why that is. I don't know. I really don't know. But um, I also am over on morgellons.org explaining to people um, the best thing you can do is keep yourself detoxed and try and stay away from sugars. Carbs are a bit dangerous if you're not eating properly. If you just eat a lot of carbs, then you're in trouble with this disease. And sugar is a killer, and carbs turn into sugar. And baking soda just about daily will help detox you naturally, no matter what. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on around me today. Not very nice for somebody to bring a sick dog. I've got a dog. I love my dog. I don't want her to die. And I don't take her out in public. In fact, I don't even like people touching my dog. I really don't. You know, people see a dog and they think, well, that's just free for them to pet. No, no, it's not. It's like touching me. That's my dog. You know, so really, you better be a pretty close friend of mine and I better know that your hands are clean. Seriously, I won't even let Doug, Doug pet any of my animals. If he's eating something and he goes to pet my animals, it's just like smearing poop on your dog or cat or whatever you have, even your child. If you're grabbing something that's alive with food on your hands or even inanimate things like a doorknob, you're passing germs to the next person. But everybody does it, right? Yeah, that's why I don't like going out in public. That's just one of the reasons, but no, oh, pretty good one. Yeah. Oh, like this treatment center I worked in. Um, ugh, the guys in there, I would have rather worked with the women, but I could only get the job around the guys at that time. But we would walk around with a spray bottle of bleach and disinfectant um washing all the doorknobs and everything every day that's what you really have to do in your life you know like get home from being out in public man wash your hands right away before you bring that into your house you know and then go wash your doorknob really i'm serious but yeah <laughs> I'm always talking about something like this when it comes to cleanliness. It just, I get really grotied out from people in their gooey ways in life. It just drives me crazy.
I liked working in the kitchen at a high school as a lunch lady because when we were through serving the kids, we would clean the kitchen. And then I'd get to go around with uh, my favorite part at the whole end was going around with a towel and wiping down all the stainless steel. It's kind of like detailing cars, too, when I was done with the inside and I could do the outside. And I worked where Doug worked, too, and he'd buff it out. And then I'd take this stuff that smelled like bubble gum. It was called Wizards. And I'd spray all the chrome and all the black and all that and just polish everything up and make it beautiful. No, we'd take it to the car wash and then bring it bring it back, or I'd take it to the car wash and bring it back and um, clean it up. That was my favorite part, making it shine after it was clean. <laughs> so it's kind of like uh, chrome on a bike or chrome on sinks or whatever, you know, I just like that. <laughs> Wish I wasn't allergic to furniture polish, too. Um, I'll tell you something real quick, and then I got to go do my stuff, and then I'm going to be back with a video I do believe about more on narcissism. But um, when I was little, they had this white stuff called Jubilee. It was made by Johnson & Johnson, and it was, yeah, well, white, like I said, but it was for a furniture polish for... Um, blonde furniture or or very light colored furniture and all my um uh furnishings in my bedroom when i was a kid for the most part till i changed them when i was older um were white and so i took like god i, I did the refrigerator too that day which was white but I used like almost a whole bottle on like my dresser and I had a vanity in my bed and I did the refrigerator and my mom's like, what happened to all this? And I'm like, you know, I used it, but I didn't have to use that much, but wow. <laughs> anyway, it was just kind of a funny story because I used way too much. I really didn't need it, but I think it smelled good or something. I was probably getting high. Who knows? with all the chemicals that they have in everything, you know, just like when I first started um, working in body shop was my first husband and I owned one in Minneapolis and uh, I got to admit, and then I worked with fiberglass and that on snowmobiles and um, I like the smell of the resin and the same with uh, body filler for body work that smelt so good and you would get like a buzz that's why a lot of body men would drink to wash down some of that crud same with drywall that you know really after drywalling um sanding especially that i love to do but i gotta admit there's times in my life you know not to get drunk but literally drinking a beer even if I wore a mask, which it really didn't matter either way. I mean, you'd have to have a total zoot suit and respirator on to keep everything out of you anyway. But anyway, a good cold beer after working hard around dust and chemicals really does help. <laughs> so, which I don't do much of anymore. Occasionally, like eight years ago, <laughs> you know. No, well, um, I think. There's a bottle of wine, it's a Chablis that's in my refrigerator, um, and there's like that much in it, I think, and we had some years ago, and it's still sitting in there. I was thinking about making, putting some in spaghetti sauce or whatever, but I'm allergic to it anyway, so, yeah, maybe another time, so. Just right before I made this video, I was sneezing and sneezing. And it could be even just the wood smoke because I'm allergic to wood products. But um, I'm allergic to petroleum, too. So it, anything I heat with, it, it, just about everything, my whole environment, I'm allergic to so many things. So, But, like, my face is red and itchy right now, and I was sneezing, and so I'm all swollen, and, and I hurt. <laughs> so welcome to life don't you just love it isn't it 
deliciously painful freaks. Yeah, thanks, Satan. See what you did? Yeah, try and blame it on the human beings, you freaking naughty angel. <laughs> you know, take your bullshit and stick it somewhere, dude. <laughs> I'm not buying it, you know. Oh, yeah, Adam and Eve did this. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> they didn't do anything. <laughs> Just just about reverse everything you hear and you'll get more to the truth, you know, like what came first, the chicken or the egg. Most likely the chicken made the egg, you know, kind of like the woman had an offspring, you know, that would make more sense, actually. But, you know, who am I as a woman that's given birth to have any type of insight into anything like that, right? <laughs> so. Oh, I'm in a certain kind of mood today, for sure. Yeah, I was talking to some people about a restaurant I used to work in that I walked out of because it was so filthy. The manager was a dog. His wife was a whatever. And they lied to me. And like I said, it was dirty. And they, they put a new coat of paint on the place. But And it's a KFC. That's not going to help that place. So, but yeah. They'd have to totally get rid of it. But I guess we have a new Mexican restaurant going to be starting up in our area. And we need a good restaurant that's um, clean and courteous. And yeah, some woman asked for one of their chicken pot pies. She had paid for it up at the re register. And... Um, the cook in the back yelled, we're all out of that and I ain't making any more. And the woman was like, whoa, my bad for expecting you to do your job, you know. And so, But that's just how they are there. And it, yeah, rude people. Really rude. Yeah. So. Well, I'm going to let this go. I just wanted everybody to be aware of that lung disease with your animals. If it's here in Minnesota and people are coming in my yard walking around with their, their dogs. And this guy lives south of me now. Um, used to live up in this area. So within 100 miles. And then if that dog comes in contact with another dog, won't be too long. It'll be, well, we're just right across the border from Wisconsin, only about. Uh, not even an hour drive east of us so um it doesn't take long for things like these to spread so i thought i'd get out here and let people know about it so you can just be aware if your dog's coughing and gagging and choking might have troubles you know hopefully not so yes i did pray for that dog but for him to bring her into our yard was really thoughtless and Doug was born with bronchitis so to bring somebody around with a lung disease you don't know you could be involved in somebody's murder so if you're listening to me farmer Mr. Old Dairy Farmer you weren't really thinking about nobody but yourself there or you're working for Satan and Given your attitude through the last 30 years, I'd say the latter is probably closer to the truth, although you cover it well. So, shame on you with that. You know, I would definitely ask God's forgiveness anyway for being stupid. But, you know, that's just me. And I know you're on my Facebook, and I know you've watched my YouTube, so if you're watching me, you know, um, you know, you weren't given my phone number for a reason, but you could have contacted me on Facebook. You know that. So that's all I'm going to say on that note. So, okay, everybody, I'm going to upload this. I'm going to get my work done and see what today brings for me. Um, have a nice day day or night, wherever you're at. Thank you for joining me. Peace.
and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.